Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, January 20th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearish activity coming in the market. We continue to get this drip, drip, drip reminders that our economy is weakening. And um, while we had a little bit of, you know, that little light of hope with Netflix reporting um, a good subscriber growth um, after the bell yesterday. Um, then we get slapped with Google um, laying off 12,000 people this morning, just continuing to raise that bar of uncertainty. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Clearly, we have some issues here in the chart, but not all is lost. If we take a look at that overall downtrend here in the diamonds, we're continuing to hold that downtrend break here in the diamonds. And as of right now, we're holding this price support here in the diamonds. But unfortunately, we did give up this price support here in the chart and unfortunately created a lower high in the process of doing that. So the real problem that we have going forward here is if those bears find inspiration and push us down below that support level here in the chart, that's going to be a problem. That's really going to raise a little fear here in the market. However, if those bulls can grab a hold, if we can hold in this area, we might be okay. Um, we could either consolidate in here or we could bounce and rally back to retest this resistance level in the chart. Just keeping in mind that even a, a, a big bounce back rally still puts us in that potential where we could make a lower high. So we have um, some concerns here to be worried about, but not all is lost. If we take a look at our um, technicals here in the chart, well, clearly we've created a little bit of technical damage with our prices breaking back down below our 50 day moving average, our 34, 20 EMA, our eight exponentials turn lower. We're creating, we also have a 500 day moving average right there. So we're creating a little bit of a technical resistance level in the chart. So if we do rally back to test this resistance level up in the chart, just kind of keep in mind that may be all it is. It's just a test of that resistance and we could see those sellers resume there. If we take a look at our SPY, well, our SPY, we're struggling here just a little bit. Um, as you can see, we still are in a overall bear trend here in the SPY. And this failure in here, um, creating that next lower high, just adds to that concern. Now, obviously, we have been running in this upside move, and there still is that hope that that could come back into play. But unfortunately, we broke that um, support level here in the chart. So any rally back up, we still have to have that question um, whether or not we're going to have enough energy to break back through that resistance. And if we do, then we have the next level of resistance right above that could challenge us. If those bears, if those bears continue to find energy here on data today, then we could look for a test down in here on this support and maybe even pushing into that upside trend, adding a little bit more concern to the market. So let's watch that closely. And we also want to um, remind ourselves that we're struggling here um, around our 50 day moving average. Keep in mind, 200 day moving average above, coming down, 50 day moving average rallying up, trying to see if we can cross, but unfortunately that price action in here right now is not helping us out here on that cross occurring. Um, it may be adding additional downside pressure here in that chart. And if we take a look at our QQQ, it's very much the same. We continue to move in this downtrend. Um, 
um, overall bearish trend in the chart. And unfortunately, our uptrend here is not um, a very clear upside trend. As a matter of fact, we just kind of come out of a bottom is all we've done. And unfortunately, if we look at this just a little bit closer, again, we have that lower high. We ran into this price resistance and faded away from that. That's um, breaking a little bit of confidence here and it's putting us in a situation where we have a fairly significant resistance right here in this area of the chart. Now, if we can find some bullish energy here um, today, um, in some of the data then I would look for a retest back up in this area up here to see if we can deal with it and push on through. If the bears find inspiration for the day, well, then I think we're probably looking lower here in the chart to find the next level of price support um, to see if we can hold into that area. So kind of keep that in mind, a little, quite a bit of uncertainty here in the SPY and the QQQ. And on our technicals, well, just a little bit of uncertainty here as well. We continue to have that 200 day moving average declining above. Our 50 day moving average is just kind of wandering here. As you can see, we're wandering up and down here and the price is just seesawing back and forth through it. So this lower high does um, add that complication here and that um, big downtrend resistance adds that complication. If the bulls can follow through and bounce back up in here, we're just going to have to worry about that resistance level in here to see whether or not we have enough energy to push up. And when we start getting reports like Google laying off 12,000 people, it really kind of tamps down that bullish sentiment uh, to really drive forward, especially considering next week we, we, we begin those big tech earnings reports. Let's take a look at our Russell here real cool, quick. Um, IWM. Um, we have a different complication here in this chart where we slammed into a major area of price resistance in this chart and um, have backed away from that. But not all is lost here in uh, IWM. As a matter of fact, we're holding up pretty darn well here on those small caps. So kind of keeping an eye in here, this price support little bit of a hammer pattern trying to show up yesterday on that chart. We need some follow through for that to be a valid hammer. But keeping in mind, if we were to rest in here, that's a pretty good hold. If we were to slip below this, that would be those bears kind of taking over. And we're going to start moving down and testing some other support levels in the chart. If the bulls can hold in here, then once again, we would look for maybe a fill of the gap here, maybe a, um, another test to, to try and push up into some of these price levels in the chart that we have struggled with before. So keep an eye on that. Again, our technicals here, well, they're not too bad here in um, IWM. Notice that our price is above the 200 day and that 50 is coming up. We may um, here soon get that, what they call the golden cross. That's that 50 crossing back above the 50 day, but we're gonna need a little bit of energy here in the market. We need a little bit more inspiration out of those um, SPY and QQQ sector to really support that sentiment to the upside. Let's take a look at our VIX yesterday. Our VIX uh, popped into a little bit of fear as the um, the selling came into play, but by the end of the day, faded back. So here again, I don't see a whole lot of fear in this market. That's why I say not all is lost. Don't see a whole lot of fear creeping up into this market just yet. Um, you know, I think big tech earnings, if they miss, that could uh, fire up that fear just a little bit. But with this great anticipation that hopefully they they do better than people are expecting um, and they can beat the lowered estimates that have been put out there then um, maybe we can continue this um, downside move here in the VIX and fear so um, all we did is test that downtrend area and we rejected that at the point at this point so got to give that to the bulls they're hanging in there okay on the VIX so watch that close and then if we take a look at our T2122 well the last couple of days have relieved a lot of that upside pressure and as you can see we were just pressing and pressing and pressing very very extended here in the short term 
And now we've relieved a lot of that pressure. So if the bulls can find something to be inspired by today, then we certainly have opened up some upside opportunity for a little bit of relief back to the upside to test some of those resistance levels. But of course, um, we, we were so extended in the market, although we've come down pretty substantially, we still have a pretty big open area here that we could continue to move down if the bears find inspiration in the market so kind of keep that in mind and then if we look at our t2108 oops our t2108 the percentage of stocks holding above our 40-day moving average i've been mentioning here that we are reaching some very um uh, very heady levels here in um, this um, indicator and we did pull back from that level but here's the good news there's not been major damage done here in this chart there's a lot of little support areas right in here and this pullback has relieved some of that um, kind of overbought pressure here in the market. 61% of the stocks, 60% holding above their 40 day moving average. Pretty hard to look at that as bearish. So the bulls are doing a pretty good job of hanging in there. And then if we look at our T2107, I'm gonna say the same. Um, we've pulled back from kind of a little bit of a frothy area here um, in the chart, pressing into some of these resistance levels, but we really haven't given up all that much as a matter of fact we're just pulling back into some support here um, just short of 50% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average so once again I've got to give that to the bulls they're hanging in there pretty strong so if we can continue um, this path forward climbing that wall of worry um, as recession looms and things like that well, we're looking um, okay here in T2107 now our T2101 uh, again, um, uh, volumes are really erratic here, but um, we have had that momentum shift from upside, shifted back down. But again, it hasn't broken the back of of this upside move, I don't think yet. So um, there still is considerable hope that we could bounce right back up in this uh, market. So watch that carefully right in here. If we can hold that level and see those bulls step back in to defend. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, we don't have near as much today to react to as we have, you know, that drip, drip, drip of bad news. But um, we have existing home sales, and unfortunately, consensus is suggesting those existing home sales will continue to decline. And when you think about the stress that the consumer is feeling, probably wouldn't be a big surprise that that might occur. But if it happens to come in better than expected, that could be that bullish energy that fires us up and gives those bulls an opportunity to push forward. Um, um, and then all we all we have left to really worry about is uh, more Fed conversation and the likelihood that they're going to continue to raise rates on the next rate increase. So um, watch that closely today. But a lighter day, not a whole lot going on. One thing you'll want to think about into next week is the big tech reports starting there's a lot of anticipation on that and we continue to hear about more and more tech layoffs so um, there's this uncertainty about that path forward so it it also wouldn't be a little bit of wouldn't be a really big surprise to me if today is just kind of a choppy day as we just kind of fold up our tent for the week and wait uh, for those data points next week so uh, it may not be you know strongly bearish it may not be strongly bullish today it may be more of a wait and see um, so keep that possibility in mind as well and then if we take a look at our earnings calendar today well we back off a little bit on earnings on Friday um, typically so we do have some notables here this morning that we'll want to pay attention to but a much smaller list we're going to continue with those bank earnings um, We've got Alley Financial reporting today. It looks like they're trying to pop on their earnings report. We're trying to break this big old downtrend here in the chart and uh, fire up here. So Alley Financial trying to hang in there. Um, we've got um, Eric um, Erickson. We've got a little bit of telecommunications trying to pop in here. It looks like they're looking a little negative here this morning. We've got some regional banks, um, H-Band, um, Regions Financial, and State Street that um, we'll be reporting today. And um, kind of a, 
an interesting one for me today um, will be uh, Schlumberger, um, that oil refining sector. And looks like we're getting a little bit of bullishness in that this morning. Um, this has been a strong runner. Boy, I tell you, uh, refining has been really strong. Uh, breaking through some resistance, you can see we've got some resistance above here to be uh, thinking about. But very strong move up in this chart recently and looks like maybe a little bit of a morning star type pattern to try and fire us up a little bit higher here in Schlumberger. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and that's click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I apologize. I didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday. Um, it was my wife's birthday and I had a tremendous amount of snow to move to be able to take her out for uh, dinner. Um, last night so um, I got that accomplished and I'll be back on task here today answering those comments so thank you everyone let's take a look at um, some of these stocks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence and um, just kind of remember that we have a relatively dangerous uh, market here with as particularly for us retail traders because of the big point moves that um, could potentially occur here on these data points so just watch that carefully and and be careful not to over trade this market. Well, I got to tell you, I'm really kind of liking this silver chart here. We rallied up strongly. We've rested here a while. Um, I think silver ha um, has some decent upside potential. And there was actually a report um, suggesting that silver may actually outpace gold here for the next year. So keep an eye on that and watch that closely and see if that could push on up um, here soon. So keep an eye on silver. I'm gonna to continue to mention gold. Gold right now, however, is a little bit stretched in the short term. Um, I think it really does need a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation, but my goodness, we've had a lot of strength there. And when it comes to other metals, um, I, I would really keep a pretty close eye here on uh, copper. Um, Freeport looking pretty good here overall. And if you notice this upside trend in play here in the chart, um, any rest consolidation back here that holds into that trend, I would be looking for some opportunities up there. Take a look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel getting this little resting pullback in here. We're um, breaking um, or testing some resistance here in this chart, but we're still holding this upside trend and looking pretty decent. So if we can hold that support in here, I would look for that opportunity, uh, maybe for some upside moves there in U.S. Steel. One of those cheaper stocks out there right now uh, might be kind of comfortable for some folks to trade. So watch that closely. Take a look at um, utilities here recently. Utilities took a big hit here just recently pushing back. So um, uh, might be something to watch here. Um, notice that lower high. Anytime we put a lower high in a chart and start breaking support levels, what I want to start watching for is that attempt to rally back. Any rally back in here could set up that next shorting pattern. So watch that closely. I think we're in the kind of market where there's going to be long trades and short trades. It's going to be a little bit difficult and it's going to be a stock picker's market. So watch for some of those on both sides of the equation. When we, when we talk about some of those um, uh, some of those trades, I think we have to look, short trades, we have to look at some of those big techs. They're struggling in these downtrends and having some trouble, but you're going to want to be careful of those right ahead of those big tech earnings reports. It's going to be a busy week next week. Take a look at, um, um, take a look at stocks that are coming up out of these bottoms that are recently pulling back. Take a look at Generac. This is one of my favorite trading patterns um, in the market. When we come out of these bottom patterns, notice how we've suddenly got that 50-day moving average that's been moving down 
and it is rounding up and our price pushes through that 50 and then pulls back to test that area of support we also have our shorter term moving averages up through that area so what you want to do is you want to watch for a chart like this to try and hold that support area and look for those upside moves coming in that these are generally very profitable trades for me um, so I would keep an eye on this these are um, some of my favorite bottoming pattern type trades so keep an eye on stocks like Generac and there's quite a few stocks out there setting up patterns like this now allow the rest to happen don't anticipate the entry let's make sure that we wait for that uh, sign that the bulls are actually going to step in and this is one of those things that I've been harping on a lot lately with the members and um, right way options because one of the things we typically do is we, we want the market to go up so much we just want the market to ease up and get bullish and and go up and what we do is we chase a trade um, that crosses over like this thinking oh, it's got to be the end of it and then unfortunately we run into a lot of those that it's not the end of the selling we push right back down. So what we want is we want some proof that we're gonna hold. So wait, give it some time. And even if it has to take several days of consolidation out here, waiting, uh, wait for that entry signal to occur, and then you're going to have a higher win-loss ratio in these trades. So watch for those closely and be patient for those trades to occur. So with that, guys, I'm gonna cut this video off. Um, I'm running a little bit short on time today you guys take care have an awesome day and um, also have a wonderful wonderful weekend with your with your family um, rest up because next week is probably going to be pretty darn volatile um, y'all take care be safe we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.